Hello everybody. In this video we extend the get method to retrieve data from SAP via a REST API using URL parameters. I extend a video of mine which I link here above. This video is pretty simple, a call, an endpoint and we get a hello world as response. So if you want to know how to do this, check this video which I have linked to you. And today we want to pass some URL parameters, for example, the care ID and the con ID to get some data from the table S flight. And I want to pass the response as a JSON. So let's go back to the uh, code. Here we see the get method and this is the code from my former video. And now let's extend this method. So first we need some variables. One variable for the care ID, LV care ID. And I write here MO request get URI query parameter. And here I pass the name of my URI parameter. In my case, the care ID. So let's copy this line for the con ID. Right here, con ID and con ID. So in the postman, we see here the care ID and the con ID, and these are the names. Be careful, this is case sensitive. Next, we, we declare a structure ls. S flight of type S flight, the table, the database table S flight. And then we do a select single from table S flight into our structure LS S flight, where care ID is LV care ID and con ID is LV con ID. So we select a single record in our structure. So let's um, pretty print and activate the code. We set him breakpoint to check if the parameters are red. So let's click on send here. Now the debugger opens. So let's zoom in here a little bit. So we do a double click on LV care ID and we see, yes, we have here a value LV con ID not yet because we have to press F5. Yes, now we have a value here and now do the select statement. And now let's check, check the structure, double click LS S flight and we have here data as well. So that works pretty well. We go back and we um, do now the, the JSON response. So for this, we need another variable for the JSON string. It's LV data of type string. And then we call a method called slash UI2 slash CL underscore JSON serialize. And this method um, converts our structure to a JSON string. So the data is the structure LSS flight and the JSON string is in the variable LV data. And then we give this data to the response. So I write here MO response, create entity, set string data, and here I pass the JSON string, which is stored in the variable LV data. Next, we set the content type with MO response, create entity. Set content type. And our content type is 
application slash JSON. Here we can use glo uh, global constants with if rest media type GC application JSON. Okay, so let's activate the code. And let's click on send. And now we see we have a response. Status is okay. And we have here a single record from our table S flight in JSON, a JSON response. Works pretty well. Next, we can, um, I want to show you how to retrieve uh, an internal table and to uh, do a JSON response with more than one record. So let's change the declaration L and the variable L from LSS flight to LTS flight to internal table. And we now we select the data into the internal table. So let's check this. We click on send and now we see here more than one record as a JSON response. Okay, that works too. We see here in the header, the content type, which we have set its application slash JSON. Okay. So next, I want to uh, set the, the status code manually. So I write here MO response, set status, and here I write CL rest status code. And here I can use a global constant again, GC underscore success underscore okay activate and let's check works as well now we can uh, write this a little bit uh, with another style to mm, save a little bit code a little bit writing so i declare a local object here called entity and I can write here LO entity is MO response create entity. And then I have only to write LO entity and I call the methods like set content type and set string data. So you can save a little bit of writing. So let's check this or let's try this next LO entity and set string data to pass the JSON response. And here we can copy the status code. Okay, activate. So let's click on the send button. Works two. Okay, so now let's remove the one URL parameter, the connection ID, and now we have no response. So that means the API works only if we pass the two parameters, the two URL parameters. So let's do a simple um, exception handling. In my example here, I check if the LV con ID is uh, valid or is passed, and if not, we write out or we write back an bad response. So we can use here GC client error bad request. Okay, close to if pretty print. And let's check the con ID is not passed. Okay, it's no. Okay, we have to activate the code first. Okay click on send and now here we see 400 bad request. So you know that the call is not valid. Okay, so let's go back. And so let's write the, uh, let's pass the con ID again. Yes, I would say that was a 
short and uh, short uh, explanation of how to pass URL parameters with the get method and how to implement and how to use them in the SAP backend. Okay, yes, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I always also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.